In this video, I'm going to show you how to install the free Bitdefender antivirus on Windows 10. Now, Windows 10 does come with a free antivirus already. If you click on your Start button and go to Settings, and then click on Update and Security, you'll see that on the left-hand side, you have the Windows Defender option. And if that's on, it's up and running and you have real-time protection from Microsoft. Uh, Windows Defender isn't the highest rated free antivirus out there, but Defender is one of them. So let's go ahead and install that in lieu of the Microsoft offering. Okay. So uh, we'll go to Edge, which you'll have for sure on your Windows 10 machine. And let's type in Defender free. Okay, now always be careful of these kinds of things. The uh, the ads, right? It says add next to it. Don't go there. Okay, you, you may or may not have an official ad, but the best thing to do is go below the ads into the actual, uh, you know, web results, right? And look for the domain of the company that you're wanting to deal with, right? In this case, of course, it's Bitdefender. So bitdefender.com, home users, free antivirus software, that's where we want to go. So be really careful about any other results that you might find. Okay, so go ahead and click on that link. You know, it's kind of ironic. A lot of people go looking for an antivirus and what they end up doing is installing viruses on their machine. And if not actual de facto viruses, a bunch of adware and unwanted software that's bundled around the end. You might get the antivirus software you're looking for, but you're going to get a bunch of other things too in all too many cases. So here we are. We, we're at where we want to be, which is bitdefender.com forward slash solutions forward slash free dot HTML. Okay. So uh, I'll copy that and try and remember to put that in the description of the video, make it easier for you. Okay, so click on the big green free download link there. Okay, and you get this offering, right? If, if we want the free one, you could go ahead and purchase the uh, premium product. There's no issue with doing that if you have the money and uh, you want the extra features. They'll give you a feature list here telling you what extra things you will get, but we're just going for the download free edition link here on the left. Okay, running a security scan. That's been done. Now we can click on run. This little window down here is the, uh, the file that we've downloaded in Edge. So we'll go ahead and click on that. User account control pops up on this PC and says, are you sure? Yeah, yep. Click on yes. You can see the icons appearing down here already. So things are already happening there in the background. Now you may have to click on that icon down at the bottom to pull up the um, actual installation. And to uh, you know clear up distractions, let's go ahead and close this special offering and close Edge. Okay, so now we just have the the Bitdefender Antivirus Free Edition installation running. You'll need to accept the terms of the license agreement, which you can read, of course, by scrolling down and doing that whole thing there. Uh, send anonymous usage reports. Okay, for privacy's sake, I usually uncheck things like that. And then, of course, go ahead and click on Next. Okay, it gives you the installation path, which in you know 99.9% .9 of cases is fine. If you have some reason to change that, you know about it, so go ahead and do so. Um, this is a, how would you say, this is a fresh installation of Windows 10. I haven't really done anything on it. So I'm going to uncheck perform an initial system quick scan. Okay, but you can leave that checked if you're concerned that you may already have a virus, right? And go ahead and click on start. get our 
see this notice comes up, turn on virus protection. This is because uh, Bitdefender is taking over for Windows Defender. So Windows Defender has been turned off. Bitdefender is going to be turning on. Okay, so we can ignore that and click on finish here. So in general, when just uh, installing a, a new antivirus, don't worry about, you know, your antivirus has been disabled type messages. Uh, sort of par for the course during installation. If 10 minutes after the installation claims that it's finished, you're still getting notices like that, then you have a problem for sure. Now, in your uh, notification tray here, you have the little up arrow on the left-hand side. If you click on that to show hidden icons, come on, it's being slow here. All right, let's try that again. Okay, so you click on the little arrow, and you'll see your Bitdefender icon. There could be a delay for this while Bitdefender is setting up, right? Your taskbar may become unresponsive the way mine did for a moment there. But uh, if you go ahead and click on your Bitdefender icon, if it's ready, you know, um, try again in a few minutes if it doesn't happen right away, you should get this screen here that comes up, okay? You have 29 days of using it for free without creating a free account to use it before it'll lock down, okay? So I do recommend creating a Bitdefender account. Okay. And you can do that by clicking on create a new account down here, over here on the left at the bottom. Okay, so you know, put in your name, your email address, create a password and record what that is. Okay, re-enter your password, hit submit, and you'll have a, uh, an account with Bitdefender that you can log in with, and then it will be perpetually free. Okay, now you can hit the little refresh in the upper left-hand corner to get back to the login screen, if that's where you want to be. Okay, so uh, once you've created your account, and you may have to go to your email and verify the account uh, by clicking on a link uh, in an email they may send you. Um, but essentially log in and you'll be fully activated and you'll have one of the better rated free antiviruses running on Windows 10, keeping you safe from harm. Okay, thanks for watching. I hope you found this video useful.